Good day everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating a sample codes in developing a logical and conditional statements in MIT App Inventor. So for this demonstration, I have here a simple sample program wherein the user will be able to input his or her tentative grade and I have here a button with a name calculate, which means if the user click on this calculate button, the program will calculate its grade equivalent, which will be displayed in this label, and so as with the grade status. But for this video, I will be demonstrating how the program will display the grade equivalent of the user based on the input tentative grade okay so let's go to the blocks editor first we have to do some procedures okay we'll click on the procedures block and get this from its drawer okay and we will be creating a conditional statements Okay. okay, so we'll actually have one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten conditions. Okay, and this grading scheme will be our basis for providing the equivalent grade. Okay, based on the input grade. Okay, so how are we going to do that? We'll have a comparison, okay, a logical comparison. So we'll have a comparison code here. And then it says here, if the grade input is 98 to 100, the equivalent data or equivalent grade for that would be 1.0 so if okay the input tentative grade so we'll get the text of that is greater than or equal to 98 okay let's have a value code here is equal to 98 What will happen? Okay, we should set the label grade equivalent into the text of it into 1.00. So we'll have a text here. Text block, blank text code 1.00. But, okay. Before we put this one, let's have first the code for what if the input of the user is 101 and above, okay, which is invalid, okay. So I'll explain to you later why we should put that first, okay. Uh, and to add more conditional statements, okay. We'll drag else if code for this one. So we'll be having 11 set of conditions. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So again, as I have said earlier, let's copy this one. We should provide first the condition where the program will disable or will message or will have a message to the user like invalid data. Once he input 
numbers 101 or greater than 100. And then next to that will be this one. Okay. The input text should be greater than or equal to 98. Okay. The program here, okay, would understand or will have a automatic limit that this code will only render or this certain execution, okay, is for input 98, 99, and 100 only because we already indicated here on the first uh, group of code or condition that any number which is equal to or greater than 101, okay, will be given a message, invalid data, okay? So the limit was automatic when the execution uh, was rendered, okay? So next we have here, let's just copy-paste this one for the next condition. Okay. So for our 1.25, it is 95 to 97, which means text input should be equal to or greater than 95. And that would be 1.25. Next. Next is for 1.5. One point five, which is ninety two to ninety four, so ninety two. Next, next set or condition will be for one point seventy five, which is eighty nine to ninety one. Eighty nine to ninety one. The next. Or, oops. One point or two point zero. It is eighty six to eighty eight. Next is 2.25 83 to 85 and 2.5 2.5 is 80 to 82 and for 2.75, 2.75 will be 77. And for 3.0, We have 75 and 76. Now, for the last set of condition, five point zero, which means it's a failing grade. It says here 74 below. So let's set it to one. We okay, one to 74. Okay. So for us to call this procedure, okay, we should get a code from the calculate button so when that button was clicked okay the program should call on the procedure okay so let's have a try say for example so let's have a basis for this one so we could compare if our code is correct or wrong Say, for example, 102. 
Okay, it says here, grade equivalent invalid data. Say, for example, 100, 100. It says 1.0. What if we input 96? Okay. So if I click on this, it should be 1.25. But in our code, we have indicated that 92 above should be 1.5. So we'll see here if the limit was automatically uh, read in the execution or not. Okay, because possibly 92 or 96 is above this one. Okay, so it might give 1.0. Uh, 1 okay, but for 96, the input or yeah, the grade equivalent should be 1.25. Okay, next, 93. 1.5 next 90 1.75 next 86 it's 2 84 2.25 82 2.5 how about 76 3.0 and 77 is 2.75. How about this failing grade 5.0? Say, for example, you have gained 74 or 72. Then it's 5.0. So that's it for this video. For the next video, I will be demonstrating how to create or to code the program that will give us the grade status for the grade equivalent. So that would be if one, two, one, two, three is the grade equivalent, then that means his grade is a passing grade. But if he got five, then uh, he could have, or he has a grade status of a failing grade. Okay, so thank you for listening and I hope that you have learned something from this video. God bless everyone.